Welcome to our kitchen today. So this is not our typical cooking video, but today we're gonna to talk about counting macros, how to count macros, what is a macro, and then I'm gonna make one of my favorite meals for you and show you exactly how I count those macros and what the macro breakdown is for that meal. So to start, macronutrients. There are three macronutrients. We have carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. Each have a sp specific number of calories per gram. So let's start with carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are gonna be our starches, fibers, sugars, things along those lines that have four calories per gram of carbohydrate. Most people's diets, depending on, unless you're following keto, um, typically carbohydrates make up a larger portion of the percentage of calories, especially if maybe you're doing some endurance sports or you are lifting or active, things like that, then you're probably gonna have a higher carbohydrate intake just to make sure that you have fuel and you're fueling your muscles to be able to rebuild. Our next macronutrient is gonna be our fats. These are gonna be things such as oils, butter, nut butters, nuts, avocados, things along those lines. You can also find fats in uh, meat, so fattier meat would be a good source as well, or certain types of fish. Um, fats have nine calories per gram, so they are a little bit higher, a little bit more dense, and that's probably what leaves you feeling a little bit fuller longer if you have a very satiating or fattier meal. Fats are critical. You wanna make sure you don't cut your fats too low because they're absolutely critical for important functions and for our brain. So that would be our hormone function. For our brain health, we need those omega fatty acids. Um, for nutrient absorption, all of those things, we wanna make sure that our fats are not too low and these typically will make up about 20 to 35% of our diet depending on who you are or how active you are, and it's gonna be a little bit unique, but that would be a blanket range for across the board. Protein is gonna be our third macronutrient. So this is gonna be vital for our immune function, vital for rebuilding our muscles, our enzymes, things along those lines. So proteins are a building block. They are absolutely key, and we wanna make sure that we include protein in our diet so we have a well-balanced, healthy, immune system and body. We're gonna keep our body strong, especially if you're looking to build muscles. Protein is gonna have four grams per calorie, similar to the carbohydrate, so it's not quite as dense as the fat. Types of protein are gonna be eggs, poultry, tofu, fish, lentils, meat, and things like that. If there's quite high fatty content, then it may be considered a little bit more of a fat than a protein, but it, you'll see how it goes when we start to count and we add everything together. Uh, proteins are typically 10 to 35-ish percent of somebody's diet, maybe a little bit higher, uh, depending on what the carbohydrate intake is gonna be. There's a couple common, I feel like, percentages that you might see somebody eating when they break down their macronutrients, but I think it's really important to remember, nutrition is trial and error, and all of our bodies are completely completely unique. The way I eat doesn't work for my sister. The way she eats definitely doesn't work for me. And that just goes on and on. So it's constantly making small tweaks and trial and error to make sure you have enough energy, you're getting the physique or the lean mass that you want and you feel really good. So it may take you a couple weeks at a time. This is definitely not something you're gonna see immediate results in two weeks unless you're really under eating and it's allowing you to help hit your nutrient and uh, caloric goals, that way your your energy is probably gonna go up. But just keep that in mind, I think six to 12 months is really the, is a great start for you to really start to notice those changes that maybe you're hoping to see in your diet and your lifestyle. So first we have to figure out your caloric needs and then we can break them into the percentages. Um, and when I say caloric needs, so say however active you are, 2000 calorie diet, right? If I wanna make sure that I'm eating 50% carbs every day, 30% fats and 20% protein, then what I would do is I'd take my 2000 calories, I would multiply that by 50%, so 0.5, and that's gonna give me 1000, okay? So 1000 of my calories should go towards carbohydrates, so then I'll take my 1000 calories divided by four calories per gram, which would give me 250 grams of carbohydrates for that day. Then if I do the same thing for my fats, which would be 30%, I would take 30% times 2000, which I wrote it down, is gonna be 600. Then I would divide my 600 by nine because there's nine calories of fat per gram and that would give me 66.66 or I would round up and it would be 67 grams of fat. So now we have 250 grams of carbs, 
67 grams of fat. We'll do the final thing for protein, which would be 20% of 2000. This is currently my numbers, 50, 30, 20. I eat a little more than 2000 calories. Um, and that would be 400 calories. And I would divide that by four, which would give me 100 grams of protein. That would be on the lower end, um, but that would be a 50, 30, 20% diet based off of a 2000 calorie intake. Macro counting, the biggest thing is you guys are gonna need a scale. I just picked this one up at Kroger for $19. My last one broke. It doesn't need to be anything crazy expensive, um, just something that you can weigh and measure that you can keep handy in your kitchen. So any scale will work. Amazon has some great ones. So the first thing that you're gonna do is kind of figure out what you wanna have in your meal. So for me, I have two slices of Dave's Killer Bread toast. Uh, well, it's toast now because I put it in the toaster uh, with those macros so that with two slices, it's going to have 44 grams of carbs, 10 grams of protein and three grams of fat. So I enter that into my fitness pal and then I keep building my meal from there. The next thing I'm going to add is my avocado. I'm going to add 30 grams of avocado. So I want to make sure I turn my scale on. You can put the food directly on your scale or you can use a paper towel, whatever it is. I like to use a little Tupperware lid because it fits perfectly. Turn your scale on, add the Tupperware lid, and then you'll hit tear. All the scales will have a tear, which means that's gonna level it or take it back to zero. So now it's taking the Tupperware lid out of it, and now I can add my food to get the exact grams of the food that I'm gonna eat without having to do math. So I have my avocado already prepped and ready. Use the spatula. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on my scale. And that's gonna be 30 grams of avocado. So my scale will read 30. So then from there, I'll put my avocado on my toast, add my 30 grams, which is approximately 3.6 grams of carbohydrates, 6.3 grams of fat, and 0.9 grams of protein. So that will add to my toast for my total. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and add my tomatoes. So I'll just tear it back out. It should be good, even though, cause it's the same lid. So I'll go ahead and weigh my tomatoes. still on the scale so we're all good there so I have about 50 to 50 looks like 52 grams of tomato so I have my tomatoes done I'm gonna spread my avocado this is my favorite meal right now you don't have to use a knife would probably be a lot better to spread this but we're gonna go with it then I can add my tomatoes Usually I slice them prettier, but it was all I had left. And then from here, I wanna make sure I put my tomato in my food. So I add my Roma, you can search in my fitness pal. This was a Roma tomato. So I'm just searching for Roma tomato, typing in my 52 grams, and I've got 2.1 grams of carbohydrates, 0.1 grams of fat, and 0.5 grams of protein. So I'll add that. And then finally, I'm gonna do two egg whites plus one egg. So I've already cooked them, they're ready to go on my sandwich. This is one of my favorite lunches. So my two egg whites plus my one egg. I don't want to lose any. And then I'll go ahead and add that to my fitness pal as well. So egg, one large egg is going to have about 4.8 grams of fat, 6.3 grams of protein. My two egg whites, when I add those in, are going to have 7.2 grams of protein, 0.1 grams of fat, and 0.5 grams of carbs. So my final meal all together is close. It's 47% grams of carbohydrate, 30% grams of fat, 23% grams of protein. So what that comes out to is 50 grams of carbs, 14 grams of fat, and then 24 grams of protein. So why macro count? It seems like a really big headache, right? It's actually it can be super beneficial and help you become aware of what your meals are made up of. Are you eating a balanced diet or are you eating mostly carbohydrates and forgetting to have fats because you thought maybe one food had fat and it actually didn't and it was actually more dense with carbohydrates. I think it's just helpful for you to get an understanding. It doesn't need to be perfect. I know for me, I only count macros about three months out of the year or right now with around competition. So for me, I tend to forget to eat. By the end of the day, I'll have eaten 100 grams of carbs, 30 grams of fat, and maybe like 60 grams of protein, and that's not good. 
Then I start to notice my energy stores are dipping, I don't feel well. So for me, macro counting just helps me realize, okay, have I eaten enough today? What have I eaten and have I eaten a balanced meal to fuel my body so I can be my best, whether it's coaching at the gym or when I'm programming or when I'm out working out. So I think macro counting, don't focus on making it to the gram. So if you're supposed to hit, for me, I try to hit between 300 and 315 grams of carbs. That 15 grams of carbs is a pretty big window. Don't kill yourself if you're at 316, day, 316 grams that day, right? It's okay. Um, you did a good job of getting in that window and aiming for whatever percentage of calories or macros that you had at the end of the day. Macro counting can seem intimidating. It's, it's not. Once you get the hang of it, my fitness pal does all the work for you. You can also check out Lose It or My Macro Plus. If you're curious, I would definitely have, there's formulas online that you could calculate, but I would reach out to somebody, help them with whatever your goals are, have them calculate your caloric needs, then you can use and track your macros from there. If you guys have questions about this, it's kind of an interesting topic. It's not something that maybe we're from completely familiar with. Hopefully this was a good explanation of just kind of what goes into a meal and helps you become more aware of what your food is made of. If you have questions, make sure to drop them in the comments below. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I hope you guys have a great day.